Okay, we're gonna do 1B uh, next. Now, if you haven't watched my video for 1A, uh, you wanna go back and watch the beginning of that video because in that video I talk about ways that you can study for the final exam and some instructions about it. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch the beginning of, of 1A because I provide some information for you. Uh, so otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and do this problem. Now, as I mentioned uh, in number one, you wanna make sure you know identities and also values from the unit circle. And that's basically what this problem uh, is gonna be testing. Uh, for cotangent, cotangent we'll use identity for that one. That's gonna be cosine over sine. And because it's squared, we'll square the top and bottom. So when we begin by writing this out, we'll do three over one. Uh, cotangent is again cosine pi over three. And we have to square that one. And the bottom we have sine pi over three and that's also going to be uh, squared. And then this one here, uh, we don't need an identity for that. We can just use that one as is. So once we have this written out, we're now gonna uh, get values from the unit circle uh, for each of these. So we have three over one. Now on top, you have cosine uh, pi over three. That value is one half and we're squaring that one. Down below, the value for sine pi over three is square root of three over two and we're squaring that one. Then we have plus two, and then the value for cosine uh, pi over six is gonna be square root of three over two. So now we have uh, all the values that are put in from the unit circle, and we just have to now simplify. So next, we're going to uh, square the top and bottom, square the top of each of these fractions here separately. So three over one, the top one will turn into a one-fourth, the bottom one's gonna turn into a three-fourths. And then the twos here are going to cancel out and you just get plus square root of three and there's something more we can do with that one. We're gonna flip and multiply these fractions. So I have three over one times. I have a one-fourth. If I flip the bottom fraction, it's gonna become four over three. And I still have the plus square root of three here. The fours are gonna cancel out and the threes are gonna cancel out, but we still have ones left over on that, which means that our final answer is gonna be one plus square root of three. Now there's no way that we can combine this together anymore because it's, uh, uh, these are not considered like terms, so we'll just leave our answer as that one plus square root of three.